So I'm gonna show you exactly how to replace your exterior door sweep with what in my opinion is your best option for the job. And that is just your classic U-shaped door sweep with the, the little fins on the bottom. If you're putting it on a door that is gonna see some rain on it whatsoever, you wanna make sure that you get one with this little flashing that sticks out. That's gonna help any kind of rain that gets on the door and runs down. It's gonna kick it out onto the part of the threshold that has a little bit more slope, taking the water away from the inside of your home. So the first step in the process, remove the old door sweep. I'm gonna show you how to get that done without taking the door off, save you some time and hassle there. Stick around to the end here when we put the new sweep on. I'm also gonna show you how to modify these sweeps. Nine times out of 10, when you put the new sweep on, the door is gonna be super sticky and it's not gonna work properly, so you don't wanna miss that. Now the screws are out. When it comes to pulling off the sweep, a lot of times the door may have been painted or there's just residue built up. A lot of times they are stuck on. Take yourself a little implement, either a little putty knife or one of my favorite tools of all time, the Richard's Red Bar. Um, there's an Amazon knockoff to these little bars. I'll put them in the description, but take your little implement and just kinda get it in there and break it loose. You want to just push this little sweep all the way down before you try to slide it off. Once it's pushed all the way down, just pull it right off along the door. Now that you got the old sweep off, go ahead and check it against the new sweep. Make sure they are the same length. So the new sweep is about an eighth of an inch longer. I'm going to go ahead and trim that. The best way to trim these is with tin snips or like a heavy duty kitchen shear. You can use a utility knife, but get yourself a scrap piece of wood and be very careful. These things are pretty tough in terms of the plastic and the utility knife might snap off and you might jam your hand into it. So be very careful with that. I'm gonna use tin snips. With the tin snips, go ahead and just trim the front, the back, and then along the bottom at the very last. Now the sweep is ready to install, you're always gonna to wanna to put the screw sides facing in, the little flashing part faces out. And the secret here is to just keep this thing down as low as it can and still get these two little edges riding along the door. If you try to push it up right tight, right off the bat and then slide it on, it's gonna jam. So keep it down and just make sure that the little two edges are just getting onto the door and then just slide it along. Once it's on all the way, then you can push it all the way up. Let's test out the fit. That's fitting terribly, I thought it might. I'm gonna show you how to make this thing 100%. We're gonna take it back off and then I'll meet you out in the garage. So in order to get this thing fitting properly, I've opened it and closed the door a bunch of times just to see where this thing is wearing. You can see on the bottom here, these two, these two little rounded over bits are showing quite a bit of wear, especially in the center area. This front little flashing here is just folding over and jamming itself on the sill, so that's no good. As well, if we look at the old, the old door sweep, we can really see what is happening here. The center of this is completely worn off. The, the outsides are still intact. If you look at the gap under the door to the sill, you can see that it's humped up a bit in the middle, causing more wear in the center. So in order to get this one fitting better, we're gonna need to trim the front flashing. We're gonna need to uh, cut sections out of these little rounded over parts. And I'm just gonna take a little bit off the center part of these two little fins here. In order to do that, the best way, really the only way here is gonna be a razor sharp utility knife. You wanna get a fresh blade on there. You want it to be extra sharp because otherwise it's gonna make a mess of it. And the technique that we use here is just one of stabilizing the knife against your finger. These blades are sharp, but as long as you're not slicing, you're not gonna cut your finger. You can actually set your finger right on the blade here. Obviously be careful. That's all trimmed up. If you're doing this at home, don't be discouraged. It might take a couple times back and forth to get that perfect fit. That being said, it's always the dream to get it on the first try. Let's see how we made out. Ah. 
That is way better than it was before. Is it 100%? Eh, it's probably about 97%. That's good enough for me. You have to remember, you don't want it fitting too loose and it's gonna loosen up over time. Or at least that's what I tell myself. The last step here is to secure the sweep with some screws. Now in the package there, they had these little white screws. None of the holes line up with where the old holes were for the old sweep. So you're gonna have to drill new ones. You need to find a drill bit that is roughly the same size as the shank of your screw. The only tip that I'm gonna give you here is when it comes to drilling these metal doors, don't force the drill bit. Take your time, let the bit work its way through. Don't push too hard. If you push too hard, you're gonna snap the bit off. Worse, you could just drill and go right through the other side of the door because it bites really quick. So take your time and be prepared for that to jump when it breaks through the metal. Get those screws in there. Perfectly installed door sweep. If you have any problems with your door sweep at home, drop a comment. I will get back to you and try to help you out the best that I can. If you have a different type of door sweep situation or you're interested in the different products that they have, check out my buddy Scott over at Everyday Home Repairs. You can see his video on door sweeps over here. If you have a door that's not fitting properly, maybe it's rubbing at the top or the bottom, check out my video on that right over here. And stick around to the end. I'm also going to show you how to modify. Why am I moving my lips so much? Oh. <laughs>